Good day, everyone. You're welcome to Spirit Realm TV. Now, there's this short excerpt I want to show you, and it's from the seminar that the Willows family had. Now, for those of you who do not know who the Willows family are, now, of course, you must have heard of the movie Prophet Suddenly. For those of you who have not heard about it, this is the poster, and that is the Willow family there. Now, I want to address the hypocrisy in this excerpt I want to show you, in this short video I want to show you. And uh, when you finish watching the video, stay tuned, I have a lot to say. Open up on our first night. <laughs> okay, so our, our first night, before our first night, we're just fantasizing. My wife makes mouth a lot. She says, sweet, when we get married, I'm going to, when I hold you, when I jack you, I'll give you styes. She was making mouth. I said, I don't die. So I started calling all my friends, you know, guy, how do they do this thing? How do they, because we're going to have sex for the first time, you know. So, high expectation, high, top notch. They're not serious. <laughs> so, so... So now the hour, even on our wedding day, she was whispering to me, say, sweet, you are dead. <laughs> Don't mind him. <laughs> sweet, you are dead. Ah! More like you are saying, man, tonight is the night. Hello, serious. After our wedding, we got to the hotel. This guy bad feeling, sleep off. Ah, I said, I said, I said, I said, babe, I know, I know, I know. I, I, I don't get. Did you see that? The truth of the matter is this. The hypocrisy in Christendom is too much for my liking. Yes, the hypocrisy is too much. Look at what the man is saying. He said before the wife, before both of them got married, the wife was always telling him that I will, what I will do to you in bed, the stars I will give to you. And the man started thinking about the whole thing. And now they are standing before everybody saying they didn't have sex, they didn't have intercourse before they got married. That is a lie. Sex is not until you sleep with a man on the bed and do all, yeah, you understand? That's not how God looks at it. Sex starts from the mind. So if you say you're not going to have sexual intercourse with the girl you want to marry, you understand? Before the marriage, that means you also have to discipline your mind as well. So if we can't discipline our mind as well, that means we have been failing in that part. So don't stand before, you can't boast before men and say you didn't do it. But before God, you can't because you did it in your mind. So based on what the Willow's family, the man, the husband, was telling us in that particular marriage seminar, he was telling us that they have sex. They had sex before marriage. We shouldn't be, you know, we do they lie. You understand? Based on that description, be blue Kali, they had sex. Sex does not start from when a man brings out his uh, organ and uh, put it inside the woman's uh, this thing. That is not where sex starts. It starts from the mind. So the woman already had a mental picture of how he would deal with the husband in bed. And the husband also had it. Or the woman transferred the mental picture to the husband. And you know, that's how it is. So we should stop deceiving ourselves. We should stop deceiving ourselves. The hypocrisy is too much. Even looking at them, you know, looking at the man describing everything and everything, you go even know say reality, they did it flesh and flesh and blood in the bed. But I don't want to look at that because I wasn't there. But based on what he said, God the Bible says that thou art condemned with the words of thy mouth. So with what he said, I have looked at it biblically that actually they had sex. So if you want to come before us and tell us things. You understand? Don't talk to us as if we are fools. I know you say nothing concerns me. It concerns me because you've already brought out everything in the public. Since you brought out everything, anything you put on uh, YouTube, put on uh, Facebook and everything, you are, you are saying this thing I have given to the public. So anybody can say anything. The worst part is that he will be criticizing somebody who had sex, flesh and blood. Who access flesh and blood physically before marriage? Yes. 
He will be criticizing the person. He will say, before we got married, we didn't have sex. Why are you doing this? You are a Christian. You are not supposed to do this. You understand? As a Christian, you're not supposed to have sexual intercourse with your wife before you marry her. You understand? It's wrong. But look at them. Oh. See, we Christians, we are too carnal. We look at things carnally. So when a woman and a man are sleeps on the bed now and not have sex, and the one that is thinking about sex, you think they are not the same? They are the same. They are the same. The, our hypocrisy don't do much. Our hypocrisy. You will see a thief, a pastor that is a thief, condemning a pastor, eh? Condemning a pastor that is a liar. We say, as her day so I do like myself, I know they lie. I know they lie. How can a man of God be lying? In the thief, oh. Selective morality, now what they do for this job, for Christian. The one way you know they do, your weaknesses, you keep it one side and start condemning another person's weakness. That's the problem of Christians, yeah. Nobody wants to help the weak in Christian. Once they realize that you are weak, the next thing is to start talking against you, pulling you down. But they themselves that are pulling people, that they are worse in the, in the secret, too. Oh.